ready to react to some stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And on this uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Friday, we're going to close out the stand-up week with some more Jim Jeffries today. All right. Well, um, Jim Jeffries, man, I think that uh, he's one of the funniest dudes doing it today. I've said this before. And uh, he is, um, his uh, material man always knows how to hit something, whether right in the chest or right in the head or maybe just, you know, scratch it somehow, man. He's still funny as hell, man. So, yeah, we're going to get into another one from Mr. Jeffries today. And uh, this one is going to be titled <laughs> Dry Hole. Oh, man. Well, uh, <laughs> it's a good thing those two words are right next to each other without any specification, but I'm pretty sure I might know what he's talking about. So yeah, <laughs> we're going to get into this one, uh, like I said, from Jim. And uh, this one was suggested to me on this wonderful Friday from one of my uh, very loyal subscribers. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shout him out today. Kevin Carbonic or Carbonic, you know what I mean? Hopefully, which um, uh, either one of those is correctly. Thank you very much for uh, this suggestion for our headliner Friday that we're doing here today. Uh, it's been on my list for a little while, you know, but I'm just like I always say, I'm always juggling and jumbling a whole bunch of different stuff up, so it's hard to get to everything in its own specific order. But very much thank you uh, again, Kevin, for the great suggestion. And uh, I'm going to get into it, like I said. So, Jim Jeffries with Dry Hole. <laughs> And if you like this reaction, please boom on the like button for me one time. Uh, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, leave a nice comment for your boy, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me, stop stuttering that. Leave a nice comment for your boy. Uh, constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, you know, throw a couple zingers at your boy. Uh, friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Yeah, that's exactly how I want to keep it. So uh, yeah, man, we've uh, gotten into some good stuff this week. Um, I think um, one or two newbies. I know we got into something new from Women's Wednesday with Sarah Tiana. And, uh, of course, got into uh, some more Leo Evans uh, just yesterday because that dude is just insane. That dude had me rolling even after long after I was done doing the reaction and doing all the editing and stuff. Yeah, Lee Evans is nuts. But, all right, um, yeah, we got to finish off the stand-up week, like I said, and let's go ahead and get into it. Jim Jeffries with a dry hole right here on ADB TV. Wonderful Friday of stand-up, y'all. Let's get all that fun. The equipment ready. Come on, equipment, stop playing. All right, let's get situated with this one here, and here we go. Sometimes when I'm fucking a chick, <laughs> okay. I go to fuck them again in the morning, and they'll say something like this. No. Oh, damn, just like that? Damn, ladies. <laughs> when we fucked last night, it was a little bit dry, and now I'm sore. Now, to any woman who said something similar to this, may I say, your problem. <laughs> My job was to get an erection. Your job was to get your hole wet. Okay. Didn't you get your hole wet? <laughs> we both had things to do. Yeah, we did. See? <laughs> If I don't get an erection during sex, I'm called impotent. But a dry hole is the same as a flaccid penis. A yeah. dry hole is an impotent hole, and you're not a complete woman, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh. Shame, ladies. Shame. <laughs> but women don't take responsibility for the dry hole. If I go to fuck yeah. a chick tonight and I get too drunk, which I will, and <laughs> I go to fuck a chick and I don't get an erection, she'll go back to friends and go, oh, I went to fuck that Jim Jeffries, he couldn't get an erection. But if I go to fuck a chick and she doesn't get wet, she'll go back to her friends and go, I oh, fucked Jim Jeffries, he didn't even get me wet. Uh, yeah, I've heard that before. You see yeah. the problem there? Yes. I'm in charge of everything. <laughs> yeah. It's like... I used to fuck this chick for a while. I stopped fucking her. <laughs> she sent me a text. Well, you know, I just stopped calling her. You know, just ignored her. And she sent me a text message a month later that went, Oh, by the way, you never made me come. And I was like, uh, yeah. Really? 
You think you're the one who makes me come? Uh, 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 <laughs> Do you want to know who makes me come? I make me come! That's right. All the horrible thoughts I have in my fucking head makes me come. Oh, yeah. You have very little to do with it. You're just the container I shoot it into. <laughs> But let's go back to the dry cunts. <laughs> there are women in the room who are thinking maybe I wouldn't be dry if there was a bit of foreplay. Let's explain foreplay. Uh -huh. Foreplay is what we do to each other to get each other ready for sex. If I have an erection, that means I'm ready for sex. Exactly, yes. And I'm all foreplayed out. <laughs> now, the foreplay that's necessary for a woman goes like this. You gotta start by kissing them. Oh. Women love kissing. Mm -hmm. Men don't give a shit about kissing. <laughs> we kiss ya because we like ya, and let's be honest, we spoil ya. <laughs> but men don't give a fuck about kissing. Used to like kissing when we were in our early teens, then someone sucked our dick. Oh. Yeah. And then What's happen. this kissing thing? Why am I kissing this person? Why would I ride on the swings? I've already been to Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But we kiss you because we like you and we're a charitable bunch. <laughs> oh, we're charitable. Yes, we then are. Then you start kissing down the neck. Now, the whole time you're doing this, you're working downwards towards the cunt. <laughs> now, you know you're going to the cunt. She knows you're going to the cunt. Everybody knows <laughs> you're going to the cunt. But for some unbeknown reason, you have to act like you're not going to the cunt and that you're enjoying the journey of this creature. <laughs> yes, I am. Women, you've got to give them a journey. Men don't give a shit about a journey. If a man's driving from point A to point B, we fill the tank, we get on the motorway, we... Make good time, right? <laughs> That's true. Well, women, you got That's to give true. them a fucking journey. Got to take them by the water or antiquing or some shit. <laughs> antiquing. See, the thing is, women read so many magazines about how to send your man wild and how to titillate your man and all these 25 steps to do all this. It's a load of fucking bullshit. Or oh, get a feather involve food in the relationship. <laughs> this is all bullshit. Play with his nipples. These things are fucking dead. <laughs> They're dead to me. These mean nothing. You could cut these off and donate them to some poor African child without nipples. <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck. This is what we want you to do. Fucking suck our cock and cup our balls. And when you're sucking our cock, Look like you're in a bit of pain because we enjoy it if you look uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. oh. <clears throat> anyway, but back to the, the lady. <laughs> you keep kissing down. Now you're at the tits. Now tits are a mixed bag. Some tits you got to be firm with, some tits you got to be soft with, some tits you can bite the nipple. Some tits don't even go in the nibble. <laughs> tits are like golf. You play the course you're on. <laughs> okay. You keep kissing down. Now uh. you're at the cunt. But even when you get to the cunt, you have to act like you're not at the cunt. You have to act like you've stumbled upon the cunt by accident. Oh, really? So you'll be kissing like a dimply bit of thigh here and the cunt's there. And you have to sort of almost, oh, hello. <laughs> hello. I was visiting dimply thigh. I forgot you lived down here. Now always a pleasure, never a chore. Eh? Do you mind if I pop in? Oh, yes. Do then you, you mind? Then you lick the uh, whole general... Cunt area. <laughs> then there's a bit at the top of the cunt. If you lick that, they seem to enjoy it. 
This all takes between 10 and 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. And, and she might be wet. Yeah, might be. And that's the foreplay that's necessary for a woman. Yeah. Now, the foreplay that's necessary for a man, we just need to see you naked. Oh, yeah. Maybe you need kisses, caresses, compliments and licks when all we need is you. Oh. Maybe we take our relationship seriously. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that's the end. Okay, finally we have gotten to the end of this one. Well, <clears throat> I don't usually get to say this too often, but uh, this video is definitely not getting monetized. <laughs> and I don't care. I don't bleep nothing out, man. I'm a soldier, I told you. I told you, I tell you. Yeah, all that stuff. All right, y'all. That was uh, Jim Jeffries <laughs> with Dry Hole. Yes, I knew that it might have had something to do with that, and uh, it was very much confirmed uh, watching this bit. All right, well... <laughs> You know, like, uh, what he did say is very much true as far as, like, the society standards and all that. It's like, if you're a dude, and, like, one thing that I don't appreciate, I've never appreciated this when it comes to sex, is that women act like they don't really, some, not all women, but some women act like they don't have to do nothing, man. And it's like, it, it in, the, in the early stages of my life when it came to sex, because I lost my virginity when I was uh, uh, 14, consensually but that's a whole nother story but uh <laughs> lost my virginity then and like the whole thing was is that i was just trying to have fun you know I, mean, I was trying to like just enjoy what was going on i didn't really have an idea of what it was to please a woman or anything like that i, I didn't really care really to be honest with you i was just always happy to be there like oh i'm getting sex i'm getting sex you know but uh i had to um, <clears throat> I had to evolve into a different type of sexual being. And a uh, good thing for me, uh, a lot of things ended up working out, you know, but I had to go through a lot of trial and error, man. But um, as I've gotten uh, older, you know, since then, one thing I don't tolerate, I don't tolerate any woman that acts like, oh, it's a chore to do something for a man. Like, no, 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 no. Sorry, ladies, I'm not gonna let you get away with that one. Dudes, when we see uh, a woman's naked body, man, and then, you know, especially if you got everything going, you got nice here, you got nice down there, nice back there, all that good stuff, man, when we see that, we're already like, damn, I'm excited, boing, 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 you know what I mean, we already there, man, it's like, it's, it seems like, um, a bit of um, manufactured arrogance, if that's the right way of putting it when it comes to women and sex, you know? It's like, y'all gotta put in work too, because when he said what he said, like, when he said, oh, you think you make me come? Like, in the beginning, you know, just like, you know, your presence alone is enough to get us to where we need to go. But if it's gonna be like a relationship going forward, yeah, I'm not, I'm not shy to say this, but a lot of men picture other things going on rather than just being with you, sorry. It's not, a, it's not supposed to be an insult, but you know, sex with the same person, gets boring after a while and I, I get really mad that a lot of females don't recognize that you know for what it is you know I can't stand it it's almost like Jesus man you you, you don't think men know that we get you know repetitive and boring to you guys we, we already know that we were born and we were raised to believe that you know what I mean and understand it so it's oh hold on a second let me get a quick pause here real quick because I got a little bit of an issue <clears throat> a little bit of an issue with lighting here. Something's up. Give me one quick second. One quick second. I'm still here, you guys. You can still hear me. Oh, yeah. I messed up my, my lighting here. Ugh. Yeah, people come down here sometimes and get on my damn nerves and they mess up stuff and it's irritating as hell. Oh, yeah, I actually came back into the picture for the first time. It reminds me of the woo. Here we go nowadays. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I just put these back on. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to it. But um, yeah, man. <clears throat> when uh when I think about all the the selfishness that comes from both men and women when it comes to sex, man, I had to really uh, graduate uh, away from that, you know, because um one thing uh <laughs> this dude is just too hilarious with it because. I don't mind foreplay, to be honest with you, man. Foreplay is actually pretty fun for me. But the thing is, it has to be my kind of foreplay. My foreplay is, is that if I'm going to do something that is for your benefit, I have to throw myself into it because I don't want to get sidetracked with boredom waiting for that 10 to 40 minutes that he said of foreplay. You know, it's just like it's weird. You know, and also you got a, a lot of guys that, uh, you know, they... Uh, 
they finished pretty quickly, you know, because of too much excitement. Nah, man, I don't get excited about the uh, about the uh, the idea of getting it. I just get it and I just like go at it, man, until it's time to stop. You know what I mean? And uh, time to stop, man, isn't always when we want it to stop. You know, sometimes women want to cut it off early. But um, I guess it depends on the circumstance if that's going to be the case, man. Like, uh, I, I think I've said this before, but fellas, <clears throat> if you are having fun with a woman sexually, beginning, middle, or even towards the end, and that hesitation that doesn't have anything to do with discomfort that you can just quickly correct, you know, if there's like a no or wait or a stop or all that stuff, uh, I uh, suggest you get up, put your clothes on, and run. <laughs> because I've actually had to do that a couple of times. Stop, no, don't. They're not very good words when it comes to having sex, okay? They're not very fun words and they're not very uh, um, pleasant words to hear, especially for, uh, you know, not wanting to be in prison and all that stuff. But uh, <clears throat> foreplay is always about, you know, patience. And sometimes when he said what he said in there, he was like, uh, why would I go on the um, uh, the swings? I've already been to Disneyland. You know, but I, I enjoy kissing, you know what I mean? Especially if it's not just normal pecking. I like to like swallow somebody's face and sometimes, you know, get a little pass and I, ah, no, you like them? Yeah, okay, I'm getting too gross there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it's like, <clears throat> the, the one main point that has to do with the title here is that yes, when we see you, we're already at attention. We're there, we're like, whoa, here it is. But if a woman doesn't get to that point, then that does say something about her feelings towards you sometimes. Not all the time, you know, I mean, there are some exceptions, obviously. But um, yeah, man, I, I just root for everybody to have the most fun that they can have with sex, you know, because a lot of it for some people apparently isn't very fun. <clears throat> I'm speaking specifically towards the women because I've heard so many stories and then all of a sudden I just think of other things that get me sidetracked and start getting in my feelings and then I want to talk trash and then it's just, just breathe, woosah on it and then just, you know, move on the best way you can. But um, have fun with sex, you know what I mean? Like have fun with it. Pleasure is just the, the oohs and the ahs that your body is going to, you know, give in response to what's happening. But having fun with it means just enjoying what's right in front of you, enjoying the laughter you might have, enjoying, you know, um, you know the, the times where it's hopefully not creepy, but you look into each other's eyes and you just think to yourself, damn, I'm so glad I'm here right now. <sighs> yes, that's all those good feelings, you know. But I will say this, like I said, the manufactured arrogance, there is a little bit of that selfishness that comes with sex on a woman's part, at least when it comes to just, like I said, having fun and enjoying it. Because if you're not enjoying it, ladies, get the hell away, you know, because like men, we can we can have fun with sex just like before we even have it. We're just like, you know, all right. Yes. Like, look at that. Look how she's laid out on the bed right there. Oh, look at. Oh, she's sliding down them panties right there. Oh, ooh, she's taking off the bra ever so slow. We, we have fun just by observing things that go on. Females, I mean, I mean, it's sort of like. Like a like an unwritten book with, with y'all sometimes, like a, you know the typical stereotypical things that uh, will come from a woman's mouth. Like I don't want to tell a man how to please me; he should just know. Mm, if you guys feel that way, please. I mean, we got business to handle here, man. <laughs> business and pleasure, man. That's what makes it the most fun, especially when you uh, mix the two together. You know what I mean? If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you must be having good sex. But uh, yeah, man, uh, all we need is you, ladies. Come on, graduate towards actually wanting sex. I know there's a lot of uh, bumpy roads along that uh, journey to for women to enjoy sex. I know there's been a lot of crazy things ha uh, happen that have happened over the years with y'all. But um, if you're not willing to have fun with sex, don't be a part of it. Because one thing that I've said in the past is that I can't stand being in, you know, in that mood with a woman and I'm thinking everything's cool. And yet there's like this sort of like, you know, uh, disinterest, you know what I mean? And sort of like, you know, hesitation and annoyance that come with it. And I'm just like, I ain't with that no more. When you're young, yeah, like I said, you're excited to get there. You don't even consider what's going on on the other side of this equation here. But now that I'm uh, a seasoned veteran in the game, uh, I want things to be fun. I want things to be 100% consensual and 100% participation, 100% fun and excitement. That's what I want with sex, you know? And I know like uh, in committed relationships, that's few and far in between. But you know what? Hey, still handle your business because if you're with somebody you love, you know, you got to get your fuck on once in a while, man. You just got to do it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it off right there. Thank you one more time to Kevin Carbonick or uh, 
Carbonic, whichever one it is. I hope either one of them was right. I appreciate your suggestion, man. Jim Jeffries, <clears throat> he's one of my favorite dudes, man. I like his accent, his Australian accent. You know, it makes his jokes funnier for some reason. Maybe that's an ignorant American thing that I feel on the inside. But he's just, overall, I love his material. Because he does say things that are very outlandish, but at the same time, he does know how to get the laugh out of you. And he does make some pretty good points on some of the things that he talks about. So, yeah, thank you very much, Kevin. I very much appreciate you. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. One more time, uh, Jim Jeffries with Dry Hole. And if you like that reaction, please boom on the like button for me one more time. Uh, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And uh, as always, leave a nice comment for you. Boy. Could you do that for me? Would you please? constructive critiques leave a nice suggestion or request and of course i'll uh, throw a couple zingers at your boy friendly dialogue no drama here and that's exactly how we're gonna keep it and uh, if you go against it you're gonna get blocked or removed man that's exactly how it's gonna be so yeah this is gonna be eddie btv signing off one more again here uh another great clip uh for a headliner uh wonderful friday from jim jeffries man this dude man he just really knows how to go uh ham on any subject even if it's something little, you know, he just knows how to, uh, you know, perform up there on stage. He's a very funny dude, and I'm always happy to get to him. There's a, there's a, quite a few things from him I haven't seen before, and I'm leaving this brain open for uh, future clips from uh, Jim Jeffries in the future, but this guy's one funny-ass dude, and uh, that's all there is to it. So, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in uh, one more time to this one, man. Uh, I had a lot of fun getting to it. Um, next week, hopefully, we can get to more new stuff and uh, continue to keep having fun and uh, keep uh, continue to get our laugh on, you know? the name of the game for stand up week you know uh we got some other stuff that kind of make us laugh for uh, like music saturday and random sunday bits you know and all that but you know hey stand up week man it's my reason for living you know what i'm saying so yeah man um until next reaction love and appreciate y'all peace